kind of like right out the other end of a situation. So. Oh, no. There was no in between during this period of my life. Gucci shoes to make you feel like a bad bitch. Are you paying that work? I would consider myself low maintenance. I'm not sure if that's quite the word, but um. <laughs> Say hi everyone, I've missed you. We've missed everyone, haven't we? Hey? They say, where have you been? High five. Apologies for the snoring. You are so calm and relaxed. You're so calm and relaxed. Hello everybody. Welcome back to the vlogs. I don't even really know where to start. All I know is that I've missed this and could we tone down the snoring a little bit? I never intended for a break to last this long um, and <laughs> This is going to be such a weird thing for me to try and explain because I have posted something on Instagram which I'll put on the screen so you can read just so that you're kind of in the know if you don't follow me over on there. Just kind of explaining that a lot has been going on and I've really just needed some time to not document that I guess. But on the flip side this is my job. I care deeply about showing the realities of life on social media. It's not something that anybody has to do or anybody owes if they have a platform, but it is something that I care about and have kind of based my entire online presence around. So therefore, I do feel like there is an element of wanting to share things with you, that set up. Um, but I also will forever be respectful of the fact that David isn't online in the same way that I am. He's a private person. And even though I wear my heart on my sleeve, I always want to be respectful of that. Of course, I've spoken to him about, you know, this situation and having to kind of say something and whatever. And he's totally understanding of that. But yeah, I guess I just want to say that there are some things going on. We're going through some issues at the moment. You know, th this has been kind of going on our end for like quite a few months now. I say quite a few months, but technically it's a build up from a few years, I guess. Ninas, the snoring's not any quieter, sweetheart. So yeah, it, this is a really difficult thing for me to try and kind of explain. Please know that I am coming to you kind of like right out the other end of a situation. So I haven't filmed or felt like pulling the camera out when, you know, we're having really deep chats or when I'm sobbing or when I just can't even like function. It's a weird thing to be like, hello, I'm having problems at the moment and I'm not okay, but then also portraying a version of me that obviously looks okay. I mean, I say look okay, actually just classic me, but I haven't slept properly for a really long time. And my sort of my fitness strength wise is depleted a little bit. Uh, the only thing that's kind of maintained is my diet, I guess I've been really good with sort of keeping myself fueled and eating foods that make me feel good. Anyway, I just needed to kind of like do a little interlude to welcome you back to the vlogs. It's not all doom and gloom. You know, if you've followed me for a while, you're gonna know that I am a let's laugh about everything situation kind of gal, <laughs> whatever that means. Um, that's just me. I love laughing, I love having fun and I've just genuinely missed being on here so much. So it felt like the right time to be picking up the camera again and chatting shit to you once more. Today is Tuesday and another little side note to my situation is that I am going to be moving into um, a holiday let with one of my best friends, Shelbs. You've probably met her a couple of times on here. And just to get some headspace, it, it's felt very sort of like claustrophobic and suffocating being in the house and n neither of us having sort of like the ability to 
go away. So I'm doing that today. Uh, yesterday I felt really anxious and a bit like overwhelmed with everything, but today I feel a lot better. I've been to the gym, done my PT with Kelly and I'm gonna make some breakfast. I'm gonna pack. I'm gonna sort my shit tip of a car out. It's actually disgusting. I'm gonna go and get my car cleaned. I'm gonna go and pick up some flowers from Trace because she's, I've asked her to make a bunch for Shelves and her mum. I always said that I would be continuing the two vlogs a week. However, life's thrown spanners in the works. Spanners in the works? A spanner in the works. And I think I'm just going to commit back to doing one vlog a week and in time once I get my flow and I'm a bit more settled and grounded then hopefully I'll be able to get back into that routine routine of doing two videos a week. I know you probably have questions but I would just I, I feel like I don't even need to explain this to you guys like I have the the support the level of support and love from you and people on Instagram has just been like it's honestly been mind-blowing it's felt like I have an extension of best friends in this community and in this space checking in on me like saying things like take all the time you need like just the loveliest messages I can't even explain how grateful I am to have the community that I do have and that we have we share together so yeah thank you for that thank you for checking in um yeah I just want to show you that life isn't always roses and rainbows and chocolate bars it's Valentine's Day today, guys. Here we are. You're my Valentine, aren't you? You and your big brother. Did you want to give me a hug? Oh, that's lovely. I mean, have you missed this? It's actually clean. I did a hair mask yesterday. It smells delicious. I need to make some breakfast. I need to have a coffee. Oh my God, this has absolutely made my day, but I've just received this in the post from Bills and I cannot cope. My dearest Sasha, happy Valentine's Day. Thank you for being one of my greatest loves. I couldn't imagine life without you and I wouldn't ever want to. From the babies we were to the women we are now, I'm so proud of us. Not only for all we have achieved, but for sticking by each other and making time for each other throughout. Thank you for being my soulmate, for filling my life with so much laughter and so much love. Here's to much more of us. All my love, Bills. Am I not the luckiest person in the world to have friends and loves in life like that? Do you know also there was an... Oh my God. It's literally in my day. I'm going to FaceTime her now. I can't... I look like a stick of the dump. This is literally my life, okay? She never answers. That is so rude. Oh, long. Okay. I'm wrapped up. We're taking a coffee outside and some bin bags. I might, I might actually give you a car tour just to show you how bad it is. I'm ashamed. I'm disgusted. More shit in here as well. I'm, uh, I'm a mess. Poo bags. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. What we're going to see here is a sponsorship of McDonald's, Coke Zero and Starbucks. Just general, your life needs to be sorted out. Down here, oh, it just, get, it just gets better. Mimi's left her boots from fucking January. Broken tripod. Who's ringing me? Bills. Hi, Kitty. Can you see me? No, I'm driving. Where? Home from the gym. Bills, your Valentine's card made me cry. Aww. What are you doing? Going stupid bitch. <laughs> You're on the vlog. <laughs> Should we book America today? Yeah. That's like big brat. You're my Valentine. <coughs> Valentine energy. Yeah, but can we book business cards? I don't like I don't know who you think you are, what wage packet you think you're on, yeah? But it's got to stop. I was saying, what was I saying? You had your stories viewed. Ooh. That looks like actual piss. This is, this is embarrassing. There's about 16 grand worth of undrunken, undrunk? undrunk coffee tell you what this could all be made worse if it was raining so there's that these boots 
they went on a night out in Newport and fuck me, aren't they showing it? Look at that. Newport juices all over the heel. Some broken antibacterial hand sanitizer. They're going to charge me extra at the car cleaning place. I just know it because they deserve a pay rise for this. M&S Scottish hot smoked trout flakes. The diet was either thriving or surviving. There was no in between during this period of my life. There's so much shit in the base of the car that there's not actually that much like shoe dirt. You know what I mean? These are absolutely peng by the way. Deliciously Ella peanut butter oat bars. So good. Trying to save my immune system in this car. Ah! It's just, it's just silly. Okay, car cleaned, no, car tidied. It's 20 past 11. I'm going to make something to eat for breakfast if I'm not eaten yet. Then I'm going to pack. And then I've got to take David's daughter to the train station. So what I might do is make sure that I'm ready before then. Take her to the train station, go and get my car cleaned. And then I don't have to go out twice, basically. David and I actually went to Bologna on last weekend. Yeah, so we had this trip booked that we both went on. And... Um, Brought back some stuff that I thought I'd show you. First of all, this absolutely insanely stunning. I um, can't remember what this is called, the type of coffee maker. I, oh, it's gonna drive me insane. I don't wanna say decanter, but it's like, but yeah. So this was from a kitchen shop in Bologna. It was a hundred euros, so it was quite expensive, but it's the sort of thing that like, we were just, you know, you will have forever. I bought some of this pasta. This is the traditional Bolognese pasta filled like tortellini and you have it in like a broth. Also, I am just a sucker for Italian branding, I think. It's a problem of mine. These were some crackers that we had as a snack one day and we had them with like some parmesan on, delish. Then this is one of my favourite um, balsamic vinegar brands. I've ha actually had a balsamic vinegar of them theirs before. I think I may have got it in Sicily, but this is a fig balsamic vinegar and it was unbelievable, like so good. Then this was just the classic, was this classic olive oil? Yes, this is, no, sorry, this is just the classic balsamic vinegar. So one of those each. Then I also got some of this candied ginger oh my gosh i actually only had this for the first time in sicily in may when gita made me try it. it came out on a plate after one of our dinners but again gorgeous branding a really beautiful little shop then we got some pistachio biscotti um not tried those yet but i'm excited to try and then i also bought shelves a couple of little bits because she was here looking after the dogs but I got her a fig olive oil sorry a fig balsamic vinegar and then I also got her this box of dark chocolate because we're obsessed with dark chocolate at the moment but again the branding was just unreal annoyingly the box dented a little bit which is really annoying look how gorgeous that is I decided to forget breakfast and just go straight to lunch even though it's half 11 because I'm just not feeling it but I'm obsessed with this girl on Instagram called M Nutritionist and TikTok actually. I'll link her down below. But you know, if you are on TikTok, you'll know that that tuna cardo Joe and the juice thing has gone like viral. And basically that's what I've craved. So first of all, this is my new obsession. It's a disgustingly expensive obsession, but... So I'm gonna like adapt what she's done slightly and make something. So I've got a tin of tuna. In here then i've chopped up really finely some tomato mm, just drip juice everywhere really finely chopped cherry tomatoes really finely chopped jalapenos and then i'm going to mix it with a bit of pickle juice a little bit of mustard greek yogurt salt pepper fresh parsley mash half an avocado on some rye bread day after the show finished which was when sunday the 
3rd of Jan, like, ages ago. And it's still lingering. It's pissing me off. I've come upstairs to pack. But I'm just folding up the last bit of, um... Oh, it's no better smell. I don't know if I've mentioned earlier, but Chesk is also getting the train up tomorrow evening. So we're going to have a few days with her, which is lush. Because... <clears throat> the three of us actually haven't been together for like a good quality amount of time for about 10 years <laughs> not a day that goes by where I don't think about how lucky I am to have the people that I do in my life literally not a single day there's always someone in my like immediate circle that reminds me just f f by being themselves how lucky I am I also just had a really cute little text from Hugo and it said to Auntie Sasha, happy Valentine's Day, love from Hugo, with that little emoji and a rose. So I said thank you, my darling boy, love you millions. He FaceTimed me the other day. Okay, let's do this. Just in case I haven't said for a while, this suitcase is the best money I've ever spent. Okay, I've packed all of my clothes, which you are resting on, and I've just got... I've packed all my toiletries and all my makeup stuff downstairs and now I've got my underwear, just a random jumper that will not fit in, <clears throat> but rolling is definitely the way forward. I thought I would show you my new little treat to myself. I've never done anything like this before, I don't think. That's a lie, I showed you my, my Manolos when I got them before. Yeah, I remember showing you those. But basically, I've wanted these shoes for a while and tried them on and was like, oh no, I can't. And then I was like, fuck it. Before I say this, I know obviously she's not a fashion icon, but you do need to visualise them on, like, rather than off. But I got the classic Gucci slingbacks. And I'm obsessed with them. Um, I tried them on in the shop with like my jeans rolled up and my massive coat on which was obviously not a look but but I'm thinking like with a cropped leather trouser or a cropped black jean these will look adorbs and they were made in Italy and I bought them in Italy and it was just like a really nice experience the shop assistant was lush obviously I know they have to be that's their job but yeah it's really nice to just treat yourself in it in whatever capacity that may be, whether it be go and buy yourself a bunch of flowers, go and buy yourself a donut, go and buy yourself a pair of Gucci shoes to make you feel like a bad bitch. Obviously not the vibe right now with what um, you're seeing, but <clears throat> I'm excited to wear them and I'm actually going on a girls' Valentine's night out on Saturday with Steph, Megan Rose Lane, Vicky, I'm sure you know all of these people, but just in case you don't. So I'm thinking that I'm going to wear them. And I've packed my Abercrombie like slit leggings. I'm thinking that might work. I'll tell you what, I'm going to miss the boys though a lot. But next week, I'm actually going to be bringing them down to Weymouth with me. Socks. This is probably the most organised I've ever packed anything. I actually really need some new bras. The, this one is my favourite from... M and S, don't know why I'm showing you this, but it's the sort of shit I love to watch. M and S, and it's the balconette. I've decided that this is the style that suits me like straight. And it's taken me 31 years to love and appreciate underwear that actually fits. And about 600 pairs of pants. Emily John. Emily John. Hello, okay. Hi, it's Ellen. Thank you. Yeah, how are you? I'm all right, yeah. Yeah, I'm not horrendous. That's good. Weather is bloody lovely. Yeah, it's lush today. I've cleared out my car. I'm getting it cleaned in a bit. Oh, I'm absolutely fucking chilled about that situation. I know, because it's been disgusting, hasn't it? It's just not going to smell like stale milk anymore, and I love that for you. You're vlog I'm vlogging you right now. You're vlogging me? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guys. Hey, guys. The vlog's missed you. I've missed the vlog, you know. Open... Okay, I know that you want to see a tidy car, but better than that, we're going to see an organised car. So I've packed and everything's in there. 
Oh, I've just got to take this to m &S. This looks like I pooed myself or weed myself. I don't know what they did at the cleaners, but look at the beauty of clean car. I've got to go to Marks and Spencer to take her parcel back. And then I've got to go to Mum's to pick up some flowers. Then I drive to Newport to rehearse, which I haven't even told you about. We're on to the next show. We've done the auditions. We found out who's got what part. I've not had time to update you on that, but let's go. I could really do without going to Marks and Spencer, if I'm honest, but needs must. I've just really missed that moment. So I'm going to read. Do you want me to redo it? No, we can't. <laughs> it won't be as cute, but George's just given me this. I don't know if you can see in the reflection. It says, with a thousand sweet kisses, I'll cover you. Tom Collins rent 2023. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Oh, thanks, babe. Thank you so much. Yes, okay. Can you put it in here? That, wait, is there shit in there? Mm, How is it sitting in my clean car? It's lovely. It doesn't smell like stale milk. No, it doesn't. Do you know what's funny, though? Is that you're the most, like, hygienic person and then you get in your car and it's just, like... Disgusting. A completely different story. <laughs> I know. It's the pits. Oh, it's been so long since we've had this. Well, to be honest, I haven't done a vlog since show week. Yeah. Time's to tough. We're back. PSB. Push your blues, babes. Push your blues. Mm. Not quite, but yeah. My post-show blues weren't that bad, were yours? You yeah. You beautiful well, today as well. What the fuck's going on with both of you? <laughs> Did I well, not get the memo? No, I just hate dancing and I feel like shit. Nice, babes. Just put eyebrows on. Yeah, but your skin looks really plump and your lips look nice and plump too. I'm not even... It's the... It's the it's Mac. the Mac. It? <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I have got clean hair and I have obviously had a shower. I've got clean clothes on, but I ain't got a face on. Well, that's all that matters. So what are we dancing to today? Face. Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god, oh my god, you guys. She's not here. Oh my god, we've not even told I've not even told the vlog what no. show we're doing next. Can you hear my voice gone? <clears throat> so basically I was saying earlier that we are already back doing another show. We've already done the auditions, everything's been cast, and the show we're doing is Legally Blood! Legally Blood! And that is why you're not playing Vivian. <laughs> <laughs> that is. Mm, mm, mm. We're very excited. Aren't we? I'm very stressed at the same time. Yeah, because it's a massive show. Yeah, and there's only one of me. I need like four. Yeah, but you're an absolute queen of colour. Yeah. And also, um, I am absolutely gassed for, slash forgot about the dance break in positive. Oh my God, the endorphins in that section. <laughs> it's silly. Yeah, I know. It's going to be good. Silly. That's actually going to be the hardest number for me to re-choreograph because I just loved it the first time. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, so basically, for back George, you did the first time, didn't you? No. So me and Emily have done this show in the same area with a different Emily. Emily, MJ. What do you want to be called? MJ. Me and MJ, well, or MJ and I. Well. MJ and I have already done this show once. How many years ago? Like six or seven. Six or seven years ago with a different company, but in the same area. But now we're doing it with this company. Fucking sick cast, fucking sick talent, fucking sick everything, isn't it? Yeah. It is actually sick. I was going to say all the little parts, but I don't mean little parts, but what I mean is all the like other parts are fucking strong. Yeah. It's no small parts, just small boobs. <laughs> like mine. Like yours. <laughs> like <laughs> I'm getting rinsed today, and can I just say I'm actually not stable enough for it? Okay, just you need to pre warn everyone then. Yeah, yeah. I stupidly I listened to Adele. Why would you do that? I don't know. Why would you keep doing that? <laughs> I don't it? know. I'm not ready. Oh. All right, bye. See you in rehearsals. Bye bye. Love to hear it. So, like, what's the camera? Please stay rehearsals. <laughs> so, the plan of action from here on in, I put a bit on the group. I had a bit of a spare in the moment. Pep talking me. Um, but. <laughs> yeah. It's not a really, really long rehearsal process, much like our last one. So How many weeks? <laughs> 15. <laughs> but it's absolutely fine. As long as every single one of us works our asses off and pulls our weight. Yeah. Um, 
<laughs> so, the plan of action tonight is we're going to start from the beginning with Vic, and she's going to work her way through. Um, and I'm going to start the opening with Delta News slash Female Ensemble, um, and just get the show on the road, literally. Double get chairs now. This, this is El Boys, and this is Serena, and we are. <laughs> the two best friends that anyone can have. You can harmonise that, but with me, so you can't. No, no. Do you know she is? First day class snaps. Hi. Hey. Are you playing that one? Come and see, oh, Granny B. Didn't tell you how. This is Sasha's vlogging camera. YouTube kids, sorry, it's my phone. Wow. Is, she is she allowed to be on YouTube? Yeah. Digital consent? It's fine. <laughs> So what colour eyes have I got? Blue. And what colour eyes have you got? Blue and brown. So what are we? Smartest and blue. You're your first everyone. Say bye. 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 Look who it is. She's back, 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 back again. Yes, she's back, back. But have you introduced yourself? It's Elwood. Dark, I don't bring the words. I'm a Gemini Capricorn. What is she? Gemini Sagittarius. I'm a Capricorn. No, I know you are. <laughs> <laughs> we're both Capricorns. Capricorns. Hi, Bethany Michelle. Hola. Hola. Say hi, everyone. Hi, Jamie. Sorry, Vivian. I'm not. I'm never wearing that again. I'm wearing this. Now prepares to serenade. Us. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, you guys. Right. Listen, you. Yeah. Right. Listen, you. Yeah. Listen, you now. L. Warner. Engaged. All right. So. <laughs> oh my God. What's crazy, crazy fucking news? <laughs> My Welsh accent's better than yours. I can't do Welsh accent. I can do Bristol accent. Oh my god, you guys! Right. I thought someone shushed me. There. Everyone's gonna be gassed at the Callum shows back, aren't they? I'm have not. you missed? Have you missed us? I've missed every single one of you. Go and say a message to your fans because you have actually got fans. Um, I don't know why you're my fan, um, but I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you, thank you, to Sasha, for giving me the platform um, to really elevate your voice. I my voice, yeah. <clears throat> Do you want to see my jazz player? Yeah, sure. Been a while since we've shown off. I'll have you. Right, do you know what? Do you want to take it outside? Because I've actually got five minutes for a fight. So, uh... <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Yeah, I like this room. Nice. We can put you in here. Um, I arrived very late last night in Weymouth, and I thought I would show you the house. Because, Shelves, when we leave, I can leave a link, can't I, for people to book? Yeah, let's do that then. I do really need my slippers. Oh, there's a lovely morning light shining in on my bedroom. Yeah, it does get a nice light in there. See, it's a tough position. You won't get that in this one, but... <clears throat> That's okay, because I'll just come into your bedroom in the morning. Yeah, what I'll do is, this is um, Shelves' parents' holiday let. So when we've left, I'll leave a link. So if you fancy a holiday trip or weekend away to Weymouth, then this is it. So this is the front door you walk in, or two front doors, like here. And this is what we see. Some stairs. 
she doesn't unfortunately come with the rental. What's that called? A radiator cover? Yeah. Little mirror. And we walk through. Do you don't use this door, do you? Yeah, we do. This is the little lounge. It's a cozy. This is. It looks like a therapy room, you know. In here. Yeah, don't you think? <laughs> like. Be. Well, we plonk a therapist there, and it would work. So, a bit of therapy. Start charging. Start charging. We should. <laughs> then it goes into this lovely secondary lounge. Yeah. But again, lovely yeah, light. It's all the fireplaces, they're so beautiful. <clears throat> and then this takes us back into the hallway and we go into the kitchen. It's a massive kitchen area, isn't it? Mm. Or like long, beautiful kitchen. And I brought my Le Creuset pan down with me because I'm a loser. I love these black and white tiles as well. Mm, cool. Lovely we kitchen here. What's that in there? Toilet. Oh, is it? I've not seen this. Didn't see this last toilet. night. Oh, yes. We have a lovely toilet down here. It smells nice in there. So are we in Portland or Weymouth right now? We're in Portland. Oh, fun. Oh. oh. Then this is our... What's this? Conservatory? Yeah. Cute. Oh, I was ready to finish then, and then I thought I would show you upstairs. So, then we go upstairs. That's my ankles clicking. First thing we see is the bathroom with the most beautiful bath. Have you had a bath yet? You could fit like 25 people in there. Won't be, it'll just be me on my own. Lovely bathroom, lovely light. Then we go into room number one, which is in here, twin room. Oh, the heating's coming on. Lovely morning light. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit out of breath, actually. Then this is, <laughs> this is my room, temporarily. Beautiful morning light, gorgeous size, big bay window. That is a bay window, isn't it? Yeah. Lovely um, fireplace, and we just dumped all of my stuff here yesterday. But I was a little bitch, and when I walked into Shelb's room, I went, oh, I want this one instead. So I'm making her move all her shit so we can come in here. Because I'm a brat. Yes, you are. <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> um, because basically, I just get really scared. So this feels like a bit cosier. It is a lovely room. Do you think I'm a brat? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> That is gorgeous, isn't it? We've come for a fresh morning walk. I hope we have nice weather the whole time we're here, like the sun and freshness. We've had some good sunsets lately. This looks like a little movie set, doesn't it? And then we put me, the main character, and you, the supporting role. <laughs> oh, that's so pretty. Is that the sea that you go in swimming? Imagine how different this whole experience would be if the sun wasn't out. Oh, we're going on a hike, are we? I thought we were going for a leisurely walk. <laughs> I should have known better. I didn't even have my morning coffee. Yeah, I told you I was going to take you to Whitestones. Loads of what? Pirate graves. What's that? Uh, a pirate grave. <laughs> I mean, I don't really know how to explain anything. <laughs> You know what a grave is, don't you? It's day one and you've got an attitude problem. <laughs> that is so beautiful though. We should maybe we should start meditating here. 100%. Yeah. Shall we? I do feel like this is gonna heal my soul being down here. Yeah, it will. Do you feel like that? It's very peaceful and there's just Yeah, the weather's usually pretty good as well. It's almost like it's got its own little microclimate. Microclimate? Yeah. Oh this weather, we ordered it. Now. Didn't I'm we? Really bad that I don't like getting into people's cars when they've just cleaned them and I've got dirty feet. I'll take your shoes off then. Yeah, but I'm still putting them in here, aren't I? <laughs> Chicken. But look at this sunlight shining through. It's delicious. It really is. We've been for a beautiful walk, r literally around the entire island, right? <laughs> I mean, not literally. That would take that would take a good like six hours, babe. How big's the island then? Uh, hey, who the fuck is this? Oh, a minute. We're now going to, where is it, Shelb? Poundbury. 
We're going to Poundbury. We're going to go and do our food shop. Make her take me to the local waitress. Of course, only the best. We can't say. No, we can't say that. Don't. <laughs> you can cut that out, can't you? <laughs> We're going to do our food shop. Cheska's coming down this evening and we've decided on food. We're having fish tacos tonight. Yeah. I think we should just have Mexican-y stuff tonight. Like Yeah, just little nib like Should we write should we have a coffee together. first and write a list? I think that's a good plan. Alright, let's go. What were we thinking on Friday night? That's the night. I think we should do a curry. We should do the curry on the Friday night. Mm. I knew I should have brought down all of my spices. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that we today has rained me? Yeah. <laughs> no, not so. <laughs> so I haven't even started yet, but tacos, I'm thinking, need avocado. Yeah. I'm literally <laughs> never going to get a boy. <laughs> Being faced with the camera and I'm seeing myself in my tree form and I'm like, oh god. That's how we got to see ourselves. Do you notice I haven't been wearing makeup at all lately? Yeah. And it's because I thought to myself, even though I've had my hair cut like really short, and usually I would put makeup on because I'm like, oh my god, I've got to put some makeup on to make myself feel feminine. I'm like, oh, no, I'm doing it, I'm just going to own it and feel it from there. Feel beautiful. You feel beautiful, you are beautiful. beautiful. Exactly. I know. The way you just said it, <laughs> like we're actual 95. <laughs> we'll have to find a Marxist because I, go I, I got some vouchers. I got some vouchers and I got a three pound vouch <laughs> so we could get something, get something special for ourselves. I've had um, a bit of a history lesson today. We've we've just been to Poundbury, which is where the Waitrose is. <laughs> Big Tory vibes. It was the weirdest gaff. It was like um, like a modern day version of. Who will buy this wonderful morning? I'm so high, I swear I could fly. You know that? From Oliver. It was really weird. Very posh. Loads of just like posh people. <laughs> yeah, and believe it or not, Big Tory Energy is not the one. But then, contradicting myself, you know I'm obsessed with that tuna. I really wanted to make shelves this lunch that I made yesterday. I think I showed you. Yeah, I did show you. The thing that I made for brunch I really want to make her that but I I'm have a tuna addiction to posh tuna so I've got a, we've come to the other waitress to see if they've got the tuna I was actually can't cope with myself I'm, I'm actually a disgusting mess it's still it's half 11 we've just had such a lovely morning I've just said to showers I feel like my skin is like even looking a little bit fresher you know I'd quite like to find a Dunelm because I feel like I want to buy a duvet duvet was just quite thin and I want something like bit chunkier got to do a bit of work then we're gonna unpack and sort out the rooms have showers get ready and then making dinner tonight so tacos it feels really weird i feel like i'm in a, a new headspace which is exactly what i needed this to be um and i think just also being in a new surrounding being in a new area the other thing, I feel like I've just skimmed over, just whilst I have time to sit and chat to you, I thought I'd fill you in. Um, I've totally skimmed over the fact that we're doing Legally Blonde and all of that. So I just thought, yeah, basically we've moved on to the next show. Still got physical bruises on my skin from Ren, licking my wounds. I'll never be over it. It was just one of the greatest experiences of my life. But I am absolutely over the moon to be playing Serena in Legally Blonde. And... I'm so gassed because I've actually played this part before in that performance that I did seven years ago. But the difference in talent and cast and everything with this company and obviously like me as a performer as well, I feel like I've developed so much as a person and as a performer. I wanted to do the part again. One, because I just love the part, love the show. Um, but yeah, also because it is with like a different... Not that the other cast wasn't talented, that's not what I mean at all, but this, the standard within the group that we have is just insane. Yeah, I, over the moon to be playing. I, I kind of couldn't believe it because I knew that they wanted to avoid recasting the same people and 
stuff like that. So a few people crossed over and did do both both shows, both productions. So yeah, I'm really 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 like chuffed to be doing that and this is exactly the show that I need right now it's fun it's energetic loads of dancing loads of fitness and last night I just once again just fueled my soul in a way that I just absolutely need right now so I'm feeling really good even though I have so much going on in my head and like there's so much to think about and everything feels so I guess uncertain I feel like the minute I walked into that house last night, I was like, oh my God, like this is going to be my calm. This is going to be my grounding. This is going to be my like serenity, solitude time. I think I need a bit of fake tan. I'm looking a little bit pasty. I mean, at this stage, I really am just sat in a car park chatting pure shit to you whilst I wait for Shelby to go and buy six grand tuna. Get you a friend who supports your addictions. Listen, I have never done drugs. I've never been an alcoholic. I've never even done anything wild. So shoot me for like an expensive tuna. Do you know what I mean? I've also got Shelbs addicted to Luke Combs, which has thrilled me. Did you get it? Yeah, girl. Yay! Was it on offer? No. Oh. How much was it? Uh, 4 dollars each. <laughs> it's £10 on tuna. <laughs> If just an expensive can of tuna is your um, needs, then so be it. Then I would I would consider myself low maintenance. I'm not sure if that's quite the word, but um, I think so. Am I taking a photo? Or I'm overdoing it. If there is there a red line around all of the screen? Yeah, there is. Yeah, so just got a little bit of footage. There's a new cupboard chat place for me in this kitchen. What candle is that? Um, you know that lovely cherry egg shop? Yeah. It's from there. Why are you not into it? It smells like witchcraft. It's not winter honey. It smells beautiful. <laughs> witchcraft, little witchcraft. And I know, I know, it's strictly taboo. <laughs> you lost your fucking mind. I know. I thought to keep the consistency of the things that you enjoy in a vlog, we'll do an un shopping, an un what am I saying? Um, unpack. Unpack. That's it. Yeah, a bit of unshopping. <laughs> I'm gonna do a bit of unshopping. Hello, my name's Sasha. We're just gonna do a bit of unshopping today, okay? Right. First of all. We're obsessed with this body wash, Waitrose's own soothing oud and oak moss body wash. I bought it the other week, and then when Shelves was staying at the house to look after the dogs, she is also obsessed. We bought another one. Some cheese, the expensive tuna, T ten pounds. Ten pounds for two cans of tuna. We got some eggs, deliciously Ella peanut butter oat bars. These are my favourite. I lived off these in show week. Fave chocolate, dark chocolate, taco seasoning. Rice. Why would you buy cheese for? Somerset Brie, you want to keep buying stinky cheese. Because I like a soft cheese, alright? That one doesn't smell, I can tell. I'm good at it, isn't it? Sour cream, Greek yog, premium mango chutney, medium spice. Salsa, I love this salsa, the which was only one. Tin tomatoes for curry, kidney beans. I'm enjoying this cupboard height. Let me know if you are. Big reveal. What's the big reveal? Oh yeah, that is good, isn't it? Yeah, nice, nice. nice light. That's lovely, that. Cod for our tacos, chicken, breasts and thighs, because I'm going to make a chicken <laughs> chicken curry tomorrow. I feel like if you're going to be consistent in these vlogs, I'm going to need a second camera angle. <laughs> but you want, I can't leave the camera, she has I know, but on. they can't see my moves, because my, my feet aren't they in They can get an idea of how shit they are. Candles burning, the red wine stirring, turning the lights down low, digging the sand snow. Salted tortilla chips, <clears throat> some romaine lettuce because I'm going to have my tacos in lettuce. White onion, red onion. Shelves, we need a little fruit bowl. Got some fruit avocado. I don't know where to keep our um, cucumber. Limes. Like where we want to put our onions and stuff. Bananas. 
It's a massive block of ginger you got. I know, it's because I eat a lot of them. Fresh chilies, coriander, parsley, blueberries, mush. She's actually still dancing just in <laughs> silence here. Mushrooms, raspberry. I love raspberries, cherry vine tomatoes, and then some baby plum tomatoes because I'm going to make a little pico, pico de gallo, however you say it in Mexican, with mango, some strawberries, and last but not least, some fresh mint. And I love it. Do you? <laughs> oh yeah he is because you're actually full of shit <laughs> pretending not. that you care about gut health but then you fucking batter half a bottle of wine Ferrero Rocher's coffee is back it was Valentine's Day sir <laughs> make me a coffee right operation swap bedrooms around you're lucky I love you yeah, yeah it must be the epitome of best friend love for you to be doing this for me. Yeah, I wouldn't usually do this for anyone. Ah, uh, fuck, well, I'm really the best in there. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I actually feel so, well, I obviously don't feel bad enough, but look, she's made it all lovely. This is, let's do the before and afters. So this is Shelby's room, which is about to be my room. And then this is Sasha's room, which is about to be Shelby's room. Shelves is bigger, so she'll make it lovely. I know that you'll end up loving this room more. It's the condom hat. <laughs> no, don't, because you'll see my bald head. <laughs> I can't not show you how well I've packed stuff. That's like a lot of clothes and they rolled up beautifully. What bloody hell is that? Oh, PJs. Um, I'm just showing everyone how amazing I've packed. Oh, no, it's been cosy. Very cosy. I um, was doing all my styling myself, but the interior stylist has taken over. She does actually know what she's doing a lot better than I do. So she's intervened. Is that the right word? Yeah. Yeah. And then we've got this here, lovely little feature wall. And then I need to get my bedding sorted. Let's so ignore that, those are in the wash. And I'm gonna need to get a little basket to put my bits in. But it's cosy, it looks calm and peaceful, and yeah, it looks nice. And I like the, the amount of blue that's in here. Blue's a very calming colour. Mm. Let's show them yours then. Mm. You can tell it's your job, this, isn't it? Mm. Sorry about the stuff. That bothered me. Why? We're all about reality here. I'm not. Not when it comes to interior. Oh, oh Jesus. She just barked. Oh, look at this. Is that part of your styling, is it? It does look lovely in here though. Mm. Which room do you prefer? Me? Yeah. I don't know because I'm quite liking this now. Yeah, good. Mm. I feel like we've actually got the rooms best suited to us, if I'm being mm. honest. Yeah. Of course she would say that. <laughs> <laughs> Evening, everybody. Quarter to six. Are you laughing at? Evening, everybody. <laughs> Evening, everybody. <laughs> Ten to six. Me and Shell's just having a little bit of cheese. And I'm making a pico de gallo. I don't know how to say it in whatever. Yeah, no, Tomato, mango, red onion, coriander, bit of lime. And we've got Sorry, brie and this is the panzan from Bologna. Nice, we tried it. No. Oh yeah, fucking it's delicious. delicious, isn't it? Okay, this is looking good. Mix, mix, mix. That's a nice little topper for the tacos. Fresh, loving the colours. Tim Spector, gut health, would be proud. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh God, secretly you wish you were a pop star. I do. <laughs> I actually do. You know, you know the vibe I'm thinking? Like Jackson 5 but better, Saturday Night Fever, yeah. Abby. Why don't we just go straight in with River Deep Mountain High? Um, <clears throat> who sings that? The OG one. River Deep Mountain High. As in, ain't no matter how you know, ain't no better low enough. <laughs> that, <laughs> that'll be the one, yeah. Oh, should we start a girl back? Ending up with just another lost and lonely wife. 
I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> do you want country music on or do you want us to change that, Chess? Driving by the fields I used to run through Where you were chasing me We were riding out under the bleachers When no one could see Look at my lovely calm room My first night in my new room Yeah My skin's really bad at the moment Yeah I think the cheese and dairy in Bologna wasn't a good... Do you know what? That half a bottle of wine will show up on my skin tomorrow. Do you reckon? Yeah. I'm just not used to it, am I? I don't know. Look at that. It looks like an extension of my mouth. I'm not into it. You look beautiful. Love you. Good night, princess. Love you so much. Sleep well. Love you more. Love you many times more. No, I love you more. Not possible. So keep them candles burning, the red one is stirring, turn them lights down. They fucking got it that time. Oh, they both open. Oh, it's just crazy. Oh, are you coming for a cuddle? Yeah, of course I am. Come in, mama. Hello, my girl. Oh, those babies. I miss them. <laughs> I miss them so much. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh my Night, God. everyone. Love you. Love you. Love you.